again, I'm very familiar with you as an offensive coach and followed your career basically since you got from Oklahoma all the way through. But you also started out playing linebacker at Purdue. You've been a part of a number of staffs that want to sling the ball around. I wonder who was your favorite player just to coach and or watch? You know, I get that a bunch. You know, there have been a lot of great guys. I mean, and, and you know, their household names have, have obviously you've got guys being at Purdue with Drew Brees and, and uh, starting out at Washington State. And, and uh, uh, I was very, very lucky. Uh, that my first job was to be a graduate assistant at Washington State. Uh, Mike Price hired me. And uh, the two coordinators I started off on on defense as a, a linebacker graduate assistant. Mike Zimmer was the defensive coordinator. Bill Dove was a linebacker coach. So, uh, and the offensive coordinator when I moved over the next season was Joe Tiller. So, uh, it was kind of a hard deal to screw up, right? Those guys are real successful, um, and 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 it gave me the ability when I moved to offense. And Joe was actually the offense coordinator, you know, to, to really see a different style of football than maybe, not maybe, than I know was happening in the Big Ten when I was a player. And, um, and uh, obviously from there, not obviously, but Joe Tiller got a job at Wyoming. Um, and I, after he couldn't find anybody else to go with him, he, he talked me into it. To, to get to Laramie, Wyoming uh, from Pullman was my – so really – um, I keep it up on the wall. I, my first, my first uh, salary at University of Wyoming was eighteen thousand oh oh six. Took for, uh, and I was happy to have it. And, and uh, it was a great opportunity for me going to Wyoming, and really learning what spread and empty offenses are, just like I did at Washington State, being able to to execute those and 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 uh, and move on from there. Well, in in doing that, did you really come to appreciate a particular quarterback a particular running back uh, a specific wide out I know I'm putting you on the spot with a yeah, really, you're gonna, a hey, really I, can, I communicate with all these guys you know everybody to me they all know that they're my favorite right? okay all but, right but, but no I mean it, it's been a, a unique uh, situation you know starting off with with a guy like Drew Bledsoe right from from scratch uh was was really interesting and uh you know as you move on there's there's guys that 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 people don't uh, even remember the Bob Hope show that uh, <laughs> when the, when all, all Americans got on there. Right. And, and so it was a big deal. A guy named Ryan Yarbrough who led the country uh, at Wyoming um, for, for a couple of years was, was an all American and really uh, I was really, really proud of him. And it really helped my career too, being a wide receiver coach. So, you know, there's guys that uh, up and down the roster that, that uh, I owe a lot to, and, and they know that. And, you know, that, just like you said, being in Oklahoma for five years, there's a, a bunch of good players there. Uh, one that wore number 28 that we just handed the ball to a lot. <laughs> He's pretty good as well. So, you know, uh, it, 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 the list is on and on and on. And, and you know, a lot of success that, that – I've been around or been a part of it has a lot to do more so to do with the players than, than the place. And, and uh, you know, that, that's why the, the, the uh, evaluation process during this draft, it becomes important because it's not necessarily um, what you, it's the same thing you see in, in, on, in a lot of different leagues, but how coaches approach it, it's not necessarily just the best player. It's the best team. Hmm. And uh and to fill those needs and not overload in one area and, and continue to have depth because with a shortened uh, roster, you know, that uh, those guys are going to have to play special teams. They're going to have to be versatile. Uh, a lot of players in a lot of different positions, some of them uh, playing offense and defense in, in certain situations. So um, the more versatile, obviously these guys uh, can be uh, the more it helps us, but, but as it also, you know, we, we're going to have to have the positional groups that to, to create depth and stability to uh, to go with the 10 game schedule and the two playoff games. I'm going to pick you up on that Bob Hope point. One of my best friends is a former offensive lineman, at the University of Tulsa, and he's an All-American and his crowning achievement in college is hearing Bob Hope call his name. 
<laughs> he, he still brings it up to this day, and I've given him all sorts of hell about it. So now I can't anymore because what you just told us. So I'm no, it's a, it, it's a real honor. But when you when you start saying Bob Hope, it, it starts to give away your age a little bit. So you know, we kind of stay away from that in the first place. Thanks for watching this video, and remember, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos on the number one ranked show YouTube channel.